right? Shalom. Call Halam, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Honors and citations to all you out there laboring in truth and sincerity, you know? Um, so, Laki Akiyam for my camera situation. My camera's been down for a little bit, you know? So, I couldn't uh, film you on the highways and byways, but I've been out there. So, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, saw it, so that's all that mattered, you know? But, um, to get into it, this is um, this this is I did a uh, the lesson called um, the Hell Doctrine debunk, and that was part one, and that was the word Sha'al. All right, now I'm a, I'm gonna get into the word Gehenna, or to to let you know that where, where that place that they call Hell was at, so so to speak, you know. And um, I got a uh, same book I was in. Now it says, uh, I'm going to hop right into it. It says, Gehenna, according to the New Testament and Rabbinic, Rabbinic literature, a place where the dead are to be judged, the abode of the wicked. Now, what it, but now I'm telling you right there, like, that's, that's that um, Christian doctrine, basically, telling you like hell was a place where you go, you burn, continue forever and ever and ever, like I stated in the last lesson, you know, but we're going to find out. Because Sha'al was the grave of the pit, you know? And that's where they got that from. Sha'al, now we're going to get into Gehenna. All right, but it says, um, it says the name given as hell in the King James, in the King James Version. So they gave uh, Gehenna, as another word for, for hell, in the King James Version. It says, uh, it's derived from the valley of the sons of Hinnom, southwest of Jerusalem, in the biblical times, in biblical times, this was the site of, the, of a cult where children were burned as offerings to the god Molech. The prophet Jeremiah condemning these idolatrous practices predicted that the valley would be known as the valley of slaughter. All right. It says in the New Testament, Gehenna, it says hell in the King James Version, is seen as a place of unquenchable fire. God has the authority to cast wicked men into hell, in whose fire he can destroy Salakia, and in, in whose fire he can destroy the soul and body. It says Jesus, but we know it's Yahweh Shah, taught that in this better that it is better to forfeit virtual limbs or organs than than though to Salakia, than to lose the whole body by being flung into hell. According to Mark, Gehenna is a place where the devouring worm never dies and the fire is not quenched. Only the wicked will be thrown into the blazing furnace, the place of wailing and gnashing of teeth. Although it is full of fire, there is no light in Gehenna, but only darkness. All right. So now I'm going to grab the scriptures that, that uh, they, they um, you know, that, that they are uh, referenced to. And I'm going to break them down for you correctly through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know. Um, so that's, I'm, 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 I'm going to take it back to the beginning of this, this uh, paragraph. Now it says, uh, Gehenna, according to the New Testament of Rabbinic literature, a place where the dead are to be judged, the abode of the wicked, the name given as hell in the King James Version, is derived from the valley of the sons of Hinnom, southwest of Jerusalem. In biblical times, this was the king, this was Salakia. In biblical times, this was the site of a cult where the child, where children were burned as offerings to the god Molech. Now, that reminds me of America too, right now. All right, because you know, America takes, um, America takes, Every everybody's practices, all right. So so America takes Roman Roman traditions, Greek traditions, um, Egyptian traditions, uh, Babylonian traditions. They take all them traditions, so they all tied up in this one, you know. But the, these pe particular people, when they was doing that, they was doing that in their time, all right. But now now that that brings me to why I said that because America, like you have um your government, 
All right, and you have this place called um, what is it? Uh, uh, uh slipping my mind right now. Oh, Bohemian Grove. There are a place called Bohemian Grove where the, the these are uh, politicians and super elite people go and they they sacrifice babies to Molech, man. Basically, it's Molech, and that owl and all that. That's Molech, man. All right. So that's the same thing going on here. But well, we going to because because it says it, the scriptures always say what was written a four time as far as understanding, you know. So this is how we know why our people was going on because our people did the same thing. But this is where you get the whole hell from. Now this is the book of uh uh Second Kings, chapter twenty three, verse ten. All right, it says, and he defiled to Topeth, which is the valley of children of Hinnom, that no man might make his sons or his daughters or his daughter to pass through the fire of Mo to pass the fire to pass through the fire to Molech. All right. So now I'm going to give you a better understanding of, of what, what those things mean. All right. Now, this is uh second Kings, right? Second Kings. Second Kings uh, 23 and 10. All right, now we're going to look up that word to topeth, all right? The word topeth, topeth, all right, is a place of fire, all right? So it says, and he defiled topeth, which is in the valley of the children of Hinnom. So that's, that's, that's a place of fire, okay? So which people can easily blow, oh, that, that, that's hell, all right? You could say that's hell, Topeth, a place of fire. Because guess what? It, it was it's it's been many hells, man. If you if you if you really think about it, which America is about to be the hell fire, period. You know, the ultimate hell fire. Which we're gonna get into that. <clears throat> All right. Um it says uh and the and he defiled Topeth, which is in the valley of the children of Hinnom. Now we look up the word Hinnom, okay. Which is lamentation. So these two words are, are very significant because you have Topep and Hinnom. So if, if it's a valley of fire, it's, not, it's you you lamenting in that fire. It's not going to be nothing light, man. So lamenting is 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 crying. You going through it, man. All right, you going through it. It's not it's not being burnt forever and ever and ever, man. Okay. Cause like I said before, forever is just a, a period of time, a time period. All right, it's, it's, it's all gonna come out though. All right, it says uh, that no man might make his son and his daughter to pass to mo to pass through the fire to Molech. All right, now let's look up Molech. It's king. All right, now it goes and, it, and explains who Molech is, the god of the Amorites and Phoenicians. To whom some Israelites sacrificed their infants in the valley of Hinnom, man. All right? They sacrificed their infants in the valley of Hinnom. Now, what's the valley of Hinnom? Let's go back to that. The valley of Hinnom is lamentation, man. So you sacrificed your, your, your children in the valley of Hinnom to Molech, which was the which was the king of the, uh, uh, of the Amorites. All right? Salakia. Which are the king, which is the king of the Ammonites. Which the Ammonites are the so-called uh, Japanese people. All right? So that, that's, that's uh, and, and the Phoenicians. Okay? So that's, that's wicked in itself, man. And that's why our people are being destroyed constantly. And ultimately, we're going to be destroyed. Well, two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. All right? For 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 uh, worshiping idols and sacrificing the idols, which you still do today. So the people that was back then in that time is just reincarnated in this time, and you have to face your judgment, which is going to be that hell fire. Okay, it's going to be that hell fire, which is not talking about your soul burning forever, man. Because if that was the truth of your soul and your and, and your body was going to burn forever, then why would it say all Israel is going to be saved? Why would it say that? All right. Now let's hop up. Uh, we're gonna go to Jeremiah. 
I'm gonna read this because I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this article again. Well, not article, but this paragraph again because I wanna. I just wanted to read the whole thing and then go back and break down certain pieces because because of the scriptures that they um make reference to. They give you a uh, um idea of what they're talking about. It says uh, all right. So it says the prophet Jeremiah condemning these idolatrous idolatrous practices pre uh predicted that the valley would would uh be known as the valley of slaughter wow so look at this this is jeremiah 7 and 31 so the valley of slaughter that's what the lord does man all right that's what the lord does when you disobey he's going to slaughter you okay and that's the and, and Ultimately, that's what's coming here to America. America is about to be the valley of slaughter, man. All right? Once the Lord comes back and, 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 and blacks out that sky and them thermonuclear missiles is going on simultaneously, that's going to be hell. It's going to be lamenting, gnashing the teeth. There's going to be fire and, and, you know, everything's being burnt up. Like it tells you, it says the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. That's concentrated heat. Okay? That's concentrated heat. That's hell, man. All right? That's hell. All right. Um, well, so this is Jeremiah chapter 7. I'm going to start at verse 30. It says, For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight, saith Yahweh by Shem Shah. They have set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name to pollute it. So you set your abomination in his house, which is called by his name. So setting your abomination in his house, which is called by his name, is talking about you Israelites, man. Get a house, okay? Now, right now, you, you have the, the, what's being separated now. You had a house of Saul, and you had a house of David that's being separated, man. All right, and the house of Saul, that represents the two-thirds. All right, the house of David represents the elect, that one-third, man. All right? Because David was a man after Yahweh by Shemiah was Shah's own heart, man. After his own mind. All right? And Saul, what did Saul do? He went off. He, he was disobedient. All right? He didn't, he didn't take heed to Yahweh by Shemiah was Shah's um, instruction. And he went in and, and, and uh, sought, sought after uh, um, a, a woman with a familiar spirit to bring back the prophet Samuel, man. And for that, guess what happened? He got his judgment. That was death, man. And his whole children, his house died, man. His children died, and the, and and the um king kingship was taken from him, man. All right. I'm gonna read that again. It says, verse thirty says, for the children of Judah have done evil in my sight. Say if Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, they have set up their abominations in the house, in the house which is called by my name to pollute it, and they have built in high places Topet, which is the valley of the son of Hinnom. And burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not. Neither came came it into my heart, man. So it never came into the Lord's mind for them to do that. Now, how do you sacrifice your 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 children to tope it in the valley of Hinnom? But the valley of Hinnom right now is America, man. The valley of Hinnom right now is America, man. All right, because this is the valley of lamentation for, for, for our people. It's a low land because the valley represents a low land, man. And if you look up Gehenna, you Google Gehenna on, on, on your, on your uh, just go just Google Gehenna. And it shows you where Gehenna's at, what, what Yahweh Shah was talking about. Because you had Jerusalem and the walls and everything. Then you had Gehenna, which is on the outskirts, all right? And it, it was a valley, a low land that looked like a desert, man. Nothing was there. It looked burnt. So guess what's going to happen? America is about to be the biggest desert on the face of this earth, man. All right, it's about to be the biggest desert. So that so so America represents Hinnom. All right, America represents Hinnom, man. And then how do you sacrifice your children to to these to, to these different gods and everything? All right, for for one, for example, I teach uh, at, around Temple College, man. All right, now that Al. Now you got the temple owl, which the owl represents Molech. So what do people do? They want to send their kids to colleges. You're going to be the next greatest thing, whether it be for sports, um, business, or whatever type of education. You're, you're sacrificing your children to Molech by doing that, by sending them to college, man. All right? So that's you still in the same spirit 
as as these people back then. All right, and and guess what? You were you were the same person back then, sacrificing your children to mold it. Why? Because a lot of parents, man, you you have these uh nigger women, and 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 even you might have some fathers. They what they want to teach their uh, their sons? Oh, how to play basketball, sports, and all that. I'm like, oh, you're gonna go to college, you're gonna get the scholarship. So that's sacrificing yourself because you might be poor and you wasn't able to make it to college, but now you're like, oh, my son can do it. He's gonna make it. He's gonna take care of us, man. So that's compromising your morals to fit in to 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 uh, uh um to to this society, man. Which this society right now is the Valley of Hinnom, all right? Because it's full of lamentations for you Israelites, man. All right. And if you want to, and you could also say, you know, that that this place is uh is to is Topeth, all right? Topeth. Why? Because it's going. It's a place of fire. And guess what? This is the place of fire. It just has not been ignited yet, man. Now, if I'm go to uh, Jeremiah 19, 5 and 6. All right, it says, uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 5. It says, they have built also the high places of Baal, to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, that this place shall be called. Now check this out. This place shall shall no more be called Topet, nor the valley of, of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. You hear that? The valley of slaughter. That's what this place, and that's what Jeremiah was was prophesying back then in his time to, to the, I believe it was the king of Judah. All right? And we out here prophesying in this time, you know, we out here prophesying this time that this is what America is going to be, which is hell. All right? Because you're living in hell right now, man. It's not a place where you go to, you know, and 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 going to burn continuously, man. This place right here is known as Tophet, Hinnom, and also the Valley of Slaughter, man. Because there's going to be a lot of slaughter right here in America, man. All right, you're going to have a lot of slaughter right here in America, man. Because when Yahweh Bashim Yahushua comes back with those heavenly angels. And crack that sky open and all that. What you think is going to happen, man? You think he come back to hand out roses? Oh, here, yeah, here you go, sir. Well, well, good and done, my faithful servant. And that's what the Christians think, man. He's going to come back. It's going to be chaos going on, man. He's going to be raptured. Well, not right. He's going to be snatching, raping his men up. Because rape means to take by force. He's going to take his men up by force into them chariots, man. And those same men are going to help destroy this place. And guess who those men are? Those men are the elect. All right? The 144,000 chosen from the beginning of time, man. Who know where hell is, man. All right? Now it says uh, in the New Testament, hell in the King James Version is a place of unquenchable fire. Now let's get that. Because unquenchable fire, now that's something... That 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 people can't think because they think just because it says hell and unquenchable fire that this place is, the the fire is never going to go out. Unquenchable means you, you, it's going to be so hot at that time you can't put out. You can't call the fire company to come put the fire out. And even firemen sometimes when you have over there in in California when they have those um forest fires which they just had a lot of them. You know, every every single year, man, every single year, you have forest fires over there in California, and that's unquenchable fire. They can't put it out. That fire has to. They they try to contain it, man, and let the fire burn out. So that fire be burning for a particular amount of time. It doesn't burn forever, but it feels like forever while that fire is burning. And you look up that you look up that such stuff for yourself about the uh, the California, you know, wildfires and all that, man. And see how long some of them burn. They evacuate the people. And them people know that those fires are coming. They have fire insurance and all that. They know that those fires are coming every year. And guess what? They still live there, man. So all they can do is contain the fire. They can't quench that fire, man. 
which once America gets ignited in fire, you're not going to be able to quench it, man. And America is basically surrounded by water. So all this, all this fire is going to be is contained, man. All right? This is Matthew chapter 5, verse... Uh, I'm gonna start at verse uh uh yeah I'm, I'm gonna start at verse twenty nine because it, it says uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to this it says um in the New Testament Gehenna held in the King James is a is a is is seen as a place of unquenchable fire it says the Most High have have the author has the authority to cast the wicked men into hell all right so check this out this is uh they gave the, the reference to Matthew five and twenty two Salakia. I said 29 is 22. Matthew 5 and 22. Uh, I think I'm going to start at verse 21. It says, Ye have heard that it that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. And whoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment. So which judgment? Ultimately is death or whatever the Lord has ordained for you. And a lot of people in America, their judgment is to be cast into that lake of fire, which is America being ignited, man. Which is that thermonuclear destruction. And it don't even matter what part of the earth you're in. If the Lord ordained for you to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, it yo, you could be on all four corners of the earth. Cause when you have World War Three, that's that that thermonuclear destruction. So missiles is going to hit in various places, not just America. America is going to be the only place completely destroyed. Okay? So wherever you are and you're an Israelite, it don't even, if you're not an Israelite, whatever. And the Lord sees for your destruction, your judgment to be thermonuclear missiles. Guess what? It's going to happen to you, man. Now, verse 22 says, But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the, of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, Shall be in danger of hell fire, man. So that's heavy right there, man. Yeah. That's heavy, man. All right? And I'm going to explain. Because you have brothers making false accusations on other brothers, man. You know, lying on brothers. You know? So they're, 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 they're um, in, 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 in um, violation. And they're susceptible to, to this right here. All right, I'm going to read that again. This is uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 22. It says, But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without, cut, without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. So whatever the Lord has planned for you. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, to, say, say thou fool shall be in danger of hell fire. So them dudes out there calling the men of the Lord fools and all that. And and thinking that 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 these things that are, are are that we're speaking of are not going to happen, and thinking that hell is a place where you're going to go and burn forever, never, never. Guess what? You're involved. You're 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 in, um in danger of that hell fire. And that hell fire, like I said, is America's destruction ultimately in this time, man. All right. Now that was Matthew five and twenty two. I'm gonna get that for you so we can look up these words to give you a better understanding. All right, it says, uh, I'm going I'm to I'm give you uh, the word raka, which is empty, a senseless, empty, i.e., and senseless, empty-headed man, a term of reproach used among the Jews in the time of Hamashiach, man, all right, used in the time of Hamashiach, okay, so, uh, so that's like empty, empty statements, empty things that that that, that you are uh, coming coming against your brother with. Okay, now we're gonna go to uh, well, go to hell. Look up that word hell, and it says hell fire. Now here you go. It says Gehenna. All right, in Matthew twenty uh, five and twenty two, the word there hell. Okay, is Gehenna. It says I'm gonna read the whole definition to you. It says hell is the place. It says hell is the place of the of the future punishment called Gehenna, a Gehenna, 
of fire. This was originally, to check this out, this was, the, this was originally the valley of Hinnom, south of Jerusalem, where the filth and dead animals of the city were cast out and burned. A fit symbol of the wicked and their future destruction. So you hear that? That's that's where hell is right there. And then that word is Gehenna. That's where hell is. A place, and it was outside of Jerusalem. And it says the future. Where they used to burn animals, trash. It was garbage. So guess what? The garbage of today in America, what is it? It's two-thirds. All right? Because the Lord's going to start with his people. And, and the other trash is you other nations, man. Which is which 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 uh, uh um I believe it's in uh first Ezra, second Ezra, when it talks about the other nations of, uh let me get it for you man oh there's a drop from a from from a spittle all right so that right there here it go right here man in second Ezra, chapter uh six all right um to let you know what the trash is all right. This is uh, chapter 6, verse 54 says, and after, and after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, and him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. And this and this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh Basim Yahweh because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel, man. All right, so yo, that's that's trash, man. That's garbage, and that's what they used to do out in in uh, in the valley of Hinnom, man. Which they call now they call it Gehenna. That's hell, man. That's burning trash, man. You got these people talking about hell. hell. This is where hell is at, man. Like I said in the, in the lesson one, hell is a condition, and it's a and 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 it's the grave, the pit, and it originated from that's what Gehenna. Now that's that's burning trash. That's a grave. That's a pit. That's a valley where they burn trash at, man. Gehenna, the valley of Hinnom, man. Let me see. Let me see. Which it says is south. It says. This was originally the valley of Hinnom, south of Jerusalem, where the filth and dead animals of the city were cast out and burned. So they were already dead, man. That's powerful right there, man. Let's go to Mark uh, 9 and 43. I believe that backs up exactly what that just said. Mark 9, 43. I'm going to go to 47. The book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 43. It says, and if thy now this is <laughs> cause you got fools out here, man, that be like, yo, man, um because it, it, it'd be like when it says if thy right hand offended you, they'll cut off your arm. You know? That's 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 freaking retarded, man. That makes no sense. All right? You're not supposed to harm your temple, man. All right, because our bodies is the temple for you Israelites. Your body is the temple. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And why would Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai say something that 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 doesn't make sense? That's ridiculousness, man. All right. Now it says, uh, this is uh, Mark chapter nine, verse forty-three. It says, and if thy right and if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee. To enter into life maimed than have than having two members to go into hell into the fire that never shall be quenched. Now let me stop right there, man. Alright? Cause 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 people they 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 miss um they they miss uh uh how you can say it, man. My words is kind of tripped up right now. But they miss break that down. But they misinform people on 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 the the proper breakdown of that scripture, man. And it's all, and that comes from the church too, man. They tell you, oh yeah, if your right hand offends you, cut it off. It's better going to uh, going to heaven with no hands. What the hell? It's retarded, man. 
All right, I'm going to read that again. This is um, Mark chapter 9, verse 43. It says, And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into, into life maimed. Okay, so maimed, we look up the word maimed. It's crooked. Of the members of the body. Crooked of the members of the body. So those members are crooked, man. Injured, disabled, maimed. Injured, disabled, maimed. All right. Uh, it says, then having two hands to go into hell. Now, let's look up hell again. It's going to be Gehenna. All right, there it goes, Gehenna. You enter, enter into Gehenna. All right, hell. Into the fire. Into the fire that shall never be quenched. Now, let's look up that word quenched, man. Unquenched. Unquenchable. Of eternal hell fire to punish the damned. So now we know that it's not eternal hell fire, man. All right? Because if you look over there in the, uh, 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 Gehenna, is it a fire still going on over there in the Valley of Hinnom? It burned for a while. When they burnt those that trash, they burnt it. It burnt for a while, and the fire went out, man. It ain't still burning to this day. And you can tell that they was burning stuff because the ground still looks burnt to this day. If you look it up, man. Artist says, um, we're there. So when it's talking about cut off your right hand, that's like you black, like, yo, that's my right hand, man. You know, you have to cut that dude off, man, so you won't be crooked, so you can walk the right path that Yahweh Basim outside has for you. Even the, even with the uh, uh, so-called members of the body of Yahweh Basim outside, because you have dudes that think, and just because they're in the truth, or they know the truth, that they automatically see. And some of those dudes are wicked as hell, man. They do wicked things. So you're supposed to cut those dudes off, man, for they entice you with, with, with different doctrines, all right? That's what it means by cutting off the right hand and all that, man. Not physically, like, I'm going to saw my arm off. If you do that, you're an asshole, man. And you have no knowledge in you, man. That's why I told you you're alone in this truth, man. You're alone in this truth, man. All right? Labad. Labad means alone. Okay? It says, if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into, into, into heart, into life, than having two feet to be cast into hell, the fire, into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Where there won't, where there, uh, damn, so it says that will never shall be quenched. So once those missiles go off here, who you going to call to come put that out? Now, like you had them fires, like I said, in California, you had those fires over there. So you can call the, um, the fire department. To come quench the fire or try to contain it or, or spray the hoses on it. All right, spray water on it. So when it says the fire that shall not be quenched, it's talking about here. When you get them thermonuclear missiles, man, hit America, who you going to call to put it out? You going to call the fire department? Oh, yo, can you come put this fire out? They just shot some nuclear missiles over here. My house is on fire. My body's on fire. You know? It's going to be nobody to quench it, man. And people people can't even see that. The, just the simplest things, man. That shall never be quenched. So nobody, when it says shall never be quenched, that means nobody's going to come put that fire out, man. It's going to have to burn to it to 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 its uh to its um duration. All right. Burn, burn, burn for its period. It says, where where there weren't where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of the most high with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into the hell fire. So that's just cutting off people that that that's um holding you back in this truth. The truth for Yahweh by Shimia was shot, man. All right. Now it says, uh, it says the most. It says God has the authority. The Most High, Yahweh Bashimah Shah has the authority to cast the wicked men into hell. Now they make reference. It says into hell, in whose fire can destroy the soul and body. All right. Now they make reference to Matthew ten and twenty eight. All right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter ten, verse twenty eight. All right. Salakia, Khan. Matthew 10 and 28. Now it says, um, it says, And fear not them which kill the body, 
but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell, man. So yeah, you're not supposed to fear Esau, because all they can do is physically kill you. To kill this flesh. They can't kill your soul, man. All right? So it says, fear the man. Because the most high, your hour boss on our side, once, once he puts you in the grave of the pig, and he could destroy your soul if he wants to, man. That's that's why you're supposed to fear him, man. All right? Let's talk about hell. Now, let's let's look up hell in this, in this uh, chapter. All right? I believe it should say Gehenna, if I'm not mistaken. All right, it's Matthew uh, 10 and... 28, 10, 28, all right, and there it goes, Gehenna, so Yahweh Ba'asim Yahweh could destroy you and your soul, if he wants to, in, this, in, in, in Gehenna, man, this hellfire is coming to America, man, all right, I believe Luke, Luke 12 and 5. Also gives reference to that. Which we're going to grab that now. It's the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 5. It says, uh, It says, But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which hath, which, which after hath, kill, hath killed him, hath killed him, power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto him, that's unto you, fear him. Let me read that again. It says, but I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after hath, kill, hath killed have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him, man. All right? So you're supposed to fear your hour by sitting outside, not these clowns out here, which is e Esau. All right? It says, uh, Yahweh Shah taught, Yahweh Shah taught, it is better to forfeit virtual, virtual, virtual limbs or organs <laughs> than that's what those scriptures just were talking about. Virtual limbs and, and uh, organs than to lose the whole body by being by being flung into hell into hell. So damn. So like that's just like saying, oh man, my, my my kidney is offending me. Let me cut it out so I don't go to hell. But you got dudes that really believe that shit, man. Excuse my language, man. But you got dudes that really believe that shit. And, 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 and how does that sound, man? I'm going to cut my kidney out. Oh, my heart is offending me. It's, it's leading me wrong. Let me cut my heart out. You ain't going to be alive, asshole. And here we go. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read this. Matthew 5 and 29. So, so, so I guess 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 you ain't gonna be able to see either. It says, and if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. So, yeah, that's not saying literally pluck your eye out. Like I explained earlier, it's it's, it's talking about um getting rid of certain members of the body because you because you all you have the body of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So you had a body which are which are formed of, of different men. And every man has a has a certain a talent and a job to do. Alright? So if one one dude is not doing his job, what you do, you, you cut him off. And that's what that's talking about. Not talking about physically, oh, I'm gonna go cut my eye out. I'm gonna go cut my nose off. I'm gonna cut my tongue out. I'm gonna cut my ear off. And you're going to be looking like a science project, man. All right? And then again, that, that word hell, Gehenna, which comes from Hinnom. All right? Which is Lamentation and also Topet, which is, which is the, uh, the burning place. All right? The Valley of, the valley of Hinnom is Lamentation. Where you lamenting. And guess what? A whole lot of lamentations is about to come to America. All right? Like I said, this is hell. And where it originated from, like I said, you go back to uh, first, uh, 2 Kings 23 and 10. It tells you. Okay? All right, it says, uh, according 
to Mark is a place where the devouring worm never dies and the fire is not quenchable, which I explain that only the wicked will be thrown into the blazing furnace. The place of wailing and gnashing of teeth. I believe that's Matthew uh, 13 and 20. So the place of wailing and gnashing of teeth, that sounds like a lot of agony. All right. 13 is like a 13 and 50. All right. It's the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 50. It says, I'm going to start at verse uh, 49. So it shall be the end of the matter of fact. I'm going to start at verse 48. It says, which when it was full, they drew to shore, to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away, man. Whoa, let me just go to 47, man. It says again, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a net. Did you hear that? Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. So when you throw your, when you throw your, your, your net into the sea to get fish, because we are fishes of men, you gathering all types of, uh, of an audience, man. All right, you're grabbing all types of different people. But who are the people that are going to get this, get, get this truth and this knowledge? It's the elect, man. All right? That's why you go out there on the highways and byways and cast your line out there, man, and speak. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And who are you getting the, 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 the bid to the marriage? The elect, man. The hopeful elect. The 144 is going to get this message, man. All right, it says, uh, <laughs> It says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered into every and gathered of every kind, which which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into the vessels and cast the bad away. So that's what you do. You gather the good into the vessels. You cast the bad away, man, because the good you're going to see because they're going to want to learn. They're going to want to understand. They're going to be sincere, sit down and want to learn all these things, man. And the bad is going to talk shit, man, scoff. So you cast them away. You, you rebuke them and cast them away, man. Wipe your feet off, man. You know? It says, uh, so, so it shall be at the end of the world, the angels, <laughs> here you go, the angels, which are the messengers, shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. So that means they're going to cut them off at the end of the world. What's the end of the world? The end of this society. The end of this white man's rule. Esau's rule and shit, man. All right? And what's that going to be? That's going to be hell, man. National teeth. Lament, 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 lamentation. Fire. Brimstone. On all four corners of the earth, wherever, the, wherever those missiles are going. But America is the biggest hell. It's going to be right here, man. America is the biggest hell on the face of the planet, man. All right? So they're going, it's going to cut them off, man. It says, uh, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be welling and gnashing of teeth. So cast them into the furnace of fire. What's that? That's thermonuclear destruction. Also, the angels are going to be shooting that concentrated heat at you from the chariots, man. And, 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 and them, them themselves, man. All right, so that's going to be hell. Not a place where you're going to burn forever. So the angels ain't going to constantly do that forever and ever and ever. Forever is a period of time, man. When it says forever and ever and ever and ever, that's how we're going to be ruling. So it's not it's we never going to come out of rulership, man. After this place goes down, all right. It says also it's all right. It says, although it is full of fire, there is no light in Gehenna, but only darkness. So, yeah, when the angels come, they're going to dark out the sky. The moon ain't going to show its light. The sun ain't going to show its light. That's how many chariots is going to be up there. The block out all that. And, and, and even though this place is going to be burned, it's going to be dark. You ain't going to be able to see your hand in front of your face. You're just going to feel all that agony, man. This is Matthew 8 and 12. The book of Matthew chapter 8 and 12 says, But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer into utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. So that's plain and simple. The children of the kingdom, what kingdom are they talking about right now, man? 
What kingdom are these people living in? What 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 people? Why why the why the um? Our people want to be a part of this kingdom, man. Which if you go back in the time and time, ancient time and all that, man, our people, even to this day, they always wanted to follow after another tradition, another man's culture, another not, not yeah, another man or another tribe or, or 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 another nation's culture besides our own, man. Cause it was enticing to them. Alright? And with that, I hope you brothers were edified. That's part two of uh hell hell debunk. And we'll jump to a couple other things. But yeah, hell, hell is going to be right here, man. You're living in hell, all right? Hell, ultimately, and I just explained where the word came from, through Gehenna, where that word was translated from the Valley of Hinnom. And going back to Topet, and the Valley of Hinnom is outside of Jerusalem, which was westward, I believe, all right? And the Lord sets up everything up in particular in particular places. Westward, I believe it said, or Salakia, yeah, um, south, south, southwest, wow. So it's southwest. So it's still got that West in it. So where we at? We're in a Western civilization, man. Okay? And I believe if you look at Jerusalem on the map and then America, that should be like Southwesters. So the Lord pinpointing, he, he, he pinpointing everything perfectly, man. So with that, man, I hope you brothers were edified. This is part two. I'm going to do a part three on the word Hades. Okay? And with that, all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Honors and citations are also Siakim on the four corners of this earth, pushing in sincerity and truth, man. Keep stay strong, Akia, man. We almost out of here. This hell is about to be be a reality, man. Where as far as it, it, it uh, as far as the burning and all that, man. But we already in hell, man. Only place for the elect to go is up, man. To the top. We already at the bottom. Stay strong. Stay faithful. Endure to the end as good soldiers, as good gabars. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, don't fool, because the time of Jacob's trouble is at hand. The hour of temptation is at hand. And that's going to separate the men from the boys and the real believers from the unbelievers. Because you got dudes out here faking it. And they don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They're just out there playing games with this truth, man. And if you're one of them, you're going to be found out. And with that, Shalom.